meet certain requirements on the income and the things that New Hanover County doesn't, doesn't meet, but that your project would we'll probably need it. I'm great, right? I have a question. Somebody else had a question. Do you have a question, Lloyd? Sure, I thought I said it. Uh, yes. What is the difference between an accelerator and an angel fund? So, an angel fund, okay. So, an angel fund, um, an angel fund is, it has a number of members who buy into a fund, like in a mutual fund like that. Then what they do is they look at potential deals um, and decide whether or not they're going to invest and if they're going to invest how much and they syndicate things like that. Now, generally, pretty much in most cases I can think of, those angel investments and in where the company or the entrepreneur the deal is located are not necessarily connected at all. So in other words, there's an angel fund here in Wilmington, and most of the investments they look at come from outside of Wilmington. That's but they do get an ownership stake in the company. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So then with an accelerator, they get an equity interest in the company. Same thing. So, so yeah, angel group will invest in exchange for an equity position, and accelerator also with an equity position. The difference is with an accelerator, as you are talking about earlier stage companies. So an accelerator, you're looking at a company maybe that just has a prototype sort of similar to inception fund, you're very early stage. Angel investment funds are much more further down the line. You've got some sales, you've got some proof of concept. Accelerator also then starts offering some of these incubator, bells and whistles, some space, does a little more hands-on hand-holding, and generally accelerators have a time limit. So most angel investment groups don't have any sort of triggers in the, in the deal, I'll say, in six months where you know, kicking out the door or whatever. They're, they're, so that, that, the point of accelerator is there's pressure the accelerator is a competition. Remember, you remember seeing Facebook when uh, he brought the, the students in and they were in the bullpen and who could do it the fastest? And those were the people he hired. The accelerator would be you have to raise some money, you'd go out and advertise, and you would invite people to come to Wilmington. You'd pay them X number of dollars, really small amounts of money. Providing the space, and all they do for three months is work on their business plan, their product, whatever it is. And at the end of that three months, they present, and the investors hope that one or two of those individuals will come up with a viable business idea, and then it will get funded by an angel investment fund or some other private equity fund. But the commitment would be they would have to stay in Wilmington. The business would be willing. So it is a high risk, high risk for people, but there are young people out there that are willing to lay it on the line. They just need a place to do it and have enough money to live on because these young men and women work 24 7 to start these type of businesses. They are there all the time. I, I think you're. Uh, a compelling argument for incubators as distinct from accelerators and especially from angel funds as I understand them uh, remains that the incubators, the people, the participants themselves will, will have affinities, especially in industry specific incubators, they will have affinities with one another, uh, leverage one another's talent. It, it sounds like a lot of the discussion is a sort of top-down application of funding model and so forth, but as I understand, you know, we talk about Wilmington, what is the what is the utilization of our local resources here? Well, incubators would seem to be a better way to get better utilization of more, you know, a, a group of people all interested in marine science, a group of people interested in manufacturing, will have lots to provide one another that don't seem to be figured in as much into accelerators. I think, I mean, you know, so the question, why do we need an incubator? Not just because it's a superior or less superior funding model, but because it, it gets better utilization of all these people who are doing X. What is this industry? whose members you could put together and get some efficiencies out of. Textile. A lot, you know, there's a, the supply chain in textile, I get there's a lot of, there's a big, long supply chain. A big, long one. Technology is another one actually supply, you know. But I mean, get the participants figure. I think of it more ecumenical than a funding model. You know, this, you, you benefit from these people together. I, I, I'm sorry, this is my own feeling that incubators benefit the, the, the participants because they all help with one another in a way that doesn't seem to be figured in. Can I actually ask you a question on that? Um, I think, great perspective. Uh, quick question for you. What's the difference then between a bunch of companies renting office space together versus an incubator? 
Yeah, I think it's like, I, I think the difference is this. Uh, it's sort of like, this is, it becomes sort of a political question. It's like, a bunch of people together, or they, they form some political group. Uh, that's not maybe not the right word, but if people were invested in this organization of themselves, and I mean literally and perhaps formally invested in its success, they would, you know, maybe even sort of give up a certain amount of their time formally, you know, contractually, or I don't know what they do. But I'm just saying, I think you can formalize these ad hoc arrangements. Oh, I mean, yes, I make paper as a guy who's got a stationery store right next door. It's awesome. Yeah, this is more. This is a, a dedicating a certain amount of time, or you all are going to be there to aid this thing. I think you get, a, I think you get formal affinities rather than informal affinities, or, or could, perhaps. Can I say one thing? Yeah. Um, I think it's 